Hey y'all, I'm here to do my empties video, and this is for the month of, months of January and February. I didn't do one in January because I just didn't have a whole lot of empties, and then right here at the end of February, it sort of exploded a little bit, so I have quite a lot to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, um, and I'll, as always, I'll tell you guys if I would repurchase or not. So I used up the clear... Scalp and Hair Therapy Strong Links Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this stuff was okay. I liked the way it smelled. Um, but I feel like because it's so, like, targeted to the scalp, I guess, like, it made my head a little bit itchy. So I don't think I would repurchase that. But it did make my hair feel really, really good. So um, I'm not sure. I mean, I liked it. I don't think I'll buy it again, though. And I have tons of shampoos to go through right now, so I'm not buying any shampoo anytime soon. Period. End of discussion. Also, if you didn't watch my, um, Project Wax video, you may hear cats growling in the background because I got a new foster cat. His name is Marco. And Lizzie is a hateful brat. She's spoil, a spoiled only child, so she does not like him very much. But anyway, they're not fighting. She's just angry. Anyway, okay. Um, I went through another pack of these simple cleansing facial wipes, which I love. A lot of people do not like these. I don't really know why. I love them. I think they smell good. I think they work as well as any wipe. I mean, no wipe gets off every bit of makeup, but... Um, I like them, and I would repurchase them again. I don't have a problem with them. Oh, because huh, I went through two of them. Okay. I never showed you guys the first one. So, yeah, I used up two of those. Um, I also went through a ridiculous amount of hand soaps. Hold on. Let me pull them all out. This is ridiculous, guys. Who goes through this many? Part of the thing is um, some of them were already half empty. I went through five. That was like bowling. Okay. I went through five of them. The first one, I'll talk about Fresh Picked Strawberries. This one's really good. My boyfriend loves this scent, so we actually just bought a new one. So that's that. Fresh Sparkling Snow was a really nice scent. I just, I'm not a big fan of their winter scents in hand soap form, um, but this one was good. It was just nice, clean, fresh. I would buy it if it comes out again next year. Um, Vanilla Bean Noel. This was like half used from last year and then I finished it up this year. I hate this scent in, like in wax it doesn't bother me. I kind of like it. In this it smelled perfumey and gross and disgusting and I would never ever buy it again. Sleep Lavender Chamomile. I didn't really like this mostly because I'm not only using this before bed. Like I wash my hands all the time, you know. I mean it was in my bathroom. So I wouldn't repurchase that. But I got it for like $3 during the semi-annual sale last year. So it was fine. And then the last one I used up, which I just finished this one, is Wildberry Hibiscus. And I loved this scent. If they came out with it again, I'd buy it. But I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, but yeah, that one was really good. I used up these cotton rounds from the body shop. There were 100 of them. Um, they were fine. They kind of pulled apart. Like, it was sort of like two layers and then, like, cottony stuff in the middle. So, that those two layers would pull apart. So, and they're kind of expensive for face wipes. So, I wouldn't buy them again, but it's fine. I used up this sample of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Light Medium. I got this from Sephora. And I really like this stuff. It's really, uh, let me not say really full coverage, but it's full coverage, which is nice. I don't think I'm going to buy it, though, just because I don't really like that full of coverage. Another foundation I used up that I did love is the Alme Clear Complexion Blemish Heal um, in Buff. 200 is the color. I got this on clearance at Ulta for $11.99, so I don't know if they even still sell this stuff, if that's why it was on clearance or not, um, but I loved this. It was a nice medium coverage. It didn't break me out. Do I think it did anything to heal my blemishes? No, not really, um, but I did like it. I liked the coverage. I liked the formula. I liked the packaging. I liked um, the pump that it comes out of. So, yeah, if I saw this again, I would definitely buy it. The color was perfect for me, but, you know, I don't know if they still make it. I used up this simple eye makeup remover. 
I don't wear hard to get off mascara. In fact, I don't wear mascara probably, I probably only wear it like maybe twice a week, if that. Um, so, you know, I can't speak to like the effectiveness of this, but it worked for me and I wouldn't have a problem repurchasing it, but I don't know that I'd run out specifically for that kind either. Just kind of whatever. Alright, two body washes. I used up this Cranberry Joy shower gel from the body shop. Um, I liked this scent a lot at first, and then by the end of it, I was so sick and tired of it, I was just ready to get rid of it. So at this point, would I buy it again? No. Maybe by next year, I will have like gotten over it, but I'm just over the scent right now. Then I used up Secret Wonderland from Bath & Body Works. I really liked this scent. I think it was perfect for like January, February. Really nice. Um, I mean, you guys know what that smells like. It's good. Um, this is actually not empty. It is the Lumiere Diver Clarifying Shampoo, whatever, High Performance Hair Care Number 4. I got this in a birch box, which I've actually canceled my birch box subscription. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, this, my hair would get greasy super fast after I use this. Like, it didn't keep my hair clean all day. My hair gets greasy by the end of the day anyway, but this, like, it didn't keep it clean long enough, so I, I didn't use up the whole thing because I'm not going to walk around with greasy hair for the sake of using up a shampoo that was free anyway. Um, this is another thing I got in a birch box. It's the 100% Pure Vanilla Bean Nourishing Body Cream. I know some people really like this stuff. Um, I've heard Pink So Foxy talk about it. It's like her holy grail. I think she likes the coconut scent, though. This is awesome. I am not a lotion person. I hate lotion, like, with a burning passion. I don't like to feel greasy at all. This doesn't make me feel greasy. I really like this. It dries to, like, a sort of, like, dry finish, like, almost a powdery kind of finish. Um, it's really nice. And the vanilla bean scent was so good. It smelled almost like vanilla with a touch of coffee in it. Like, it was that strong. I loved it. I, I will purchase that at some point in my life. I finished up another Rimmel Stay Mat. I go through these all the time. I'm not even going to talk about it because I buy them all the time. I finished up this Urban Decay D Slick, the little mini. I got this free with like Birch Box Point, or not Birch Box Points, um, Sephora Points or in a Birch Box or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't pay for it. Um, this is fine. I think... I don't think it does anything spectacular to make it worth the price because this little bottle's like $12 and the big one's like $30, $38. I don't know how much it is because I don't buy it. Um, I don't think it did anything that makes it worth buying. It really works for some people. It didn't do a whole lot for me. So it was okay. I mean, I didn't mind using it or anything, but yeah, that's enough about that. I used up another sample foundation from Sephora. This is the NARS um, Sheer Matte Foundation in Pun Punjab, Punjab, I don't know how to say it. Um, I love this foundation. It's like $48, but it lasts all day long. It might be $42. It lasts, like, I'll go to the gym with this on and come home and my makeup still looks good. And I sweat like, like a whore in church. I'm going to say it. So anyway, um, I like that. I might purchase it at some point in my life, but for now, I'm not really going to. I have a lot of other stuff to use up. Um, I finished a little pocket back in Winter Candy Apple. You guys know I'm not a big Winter Candy Apple scent fan, so I would not repurchase that scent. I repurchase pocket backs all the time, though. I used up this little eyeliner that was in my Project Pan that I started a long time ago. This is the New York Color, just like, eyeliner pencil. It was in black. Um, I'm just tired of fighting with that little nub, so I'm calling it done. I love this eyeliner. It's like 99 cents or something like that. I really like it. I've used it for years. Um, I really prefer, though, twist-up pencils as opposed to sharpening ones. So I, I can't say I won't buy that again because I probably will at some point. But anyway, Juice Beauty Oil-Free Moisturizer. Hated this stuff. Smells really good. It came in a birch box, and I think this broke me out. As you can tell it's a tiny little sample, so I can't be 100% sure. Um, but I feel like it broke me out, so I will not purchase that, and I think it's pretty expensive anyway. And then the last thing I finished is the Physician's Formula Shimmering Strips Eyeliner. It comes in the pack of three. I got this in the Nude Eyes set, but it comes in brown eyes, blue eyes, whatever. 
It's a twist up pencil. I mean, I can't twist it up anymore, but it's a twist up pencil. I really like this. Pretty Daisies recommended this to me when I asked her. I loved the Big and Bright, I think it was called, twist up eye pencil from Bare Minerals that they stopped making. Their eyeliner is now a sh uh, one you have to sharpen. If I'm going to buy one I have to sharpen, I'll buy this. Um, so anyway, she recommended this to me, and this is really nice. I really like it. I'm almost done with the black one that came in the same set, and I will totally repurchase this. It's this like a holy grail eyeliner for me. It lasts all day. Um, I really like it. Nothing bad to say about it. So those are all of my empties for Febu January and February, and I, depending on how much I finish up in March, I'll be back with one of these at the end of March, and I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, let me know. Like the video if you like it. And yeah, bye.